I will bless thee, O Lord. I will worship thee, O Lord. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. I want to greet all the saints of the members of the body of Christ one more time. This Tuesday night in our Bible study. And I want to salute all our e-members, all our friends that connect to Gospel Way in this Bible study. And we want to get ready to ramble into this night study. And we are on a serious subject. We deal with it and we want to dig it up some more. And we want to look at the subject tonight. Be this honorable father. This honorable father. And before I dive into the word of God, we have our missionary. I want to invite her now to come and open us in prayer. <coughs> oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endure it forever. Let the redeem of the Lord mm -hmm, say so. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise God, those who he have redeemed from the claws and the clutches of the enemy. And this morning we are sons and daughters of god mm. father god in the name of jesus, you, jesus we thank you and we lift up your holy name we praise you we adore you we exalt you for you are god and mm. there's none mm. like you you're wonderful you're great you're marvelous you're excellent the heavens cannot contain you neither the earth nor the depths father because of who you are mm. and because of that we are so grateful My that god. we can come tonight to cry abba father we are so grateful that we can put our trust in in you we can confident you god that you will never leave us nor forsake us we can confident you god that though we go through the valley of the shadow of death we should fear no evil for you god said you are with us you said your rod and your staff shall surely you, comfort us thank god we thank you that you are a god who are unexplainable and because of that god we worship you tonight we exalt you we tell you thanks for your blessing that you has bestowed upon us for the opportunity Opportunity, God, that you has given unto us that we can come to sit at your feet, to eat of your word, God. And even at this time, God, I pray for those who will be hearing, those who will be listening, God, that it will bring a home, it will germinate, and it will bring forth. It will spring up and it will grow. Even, God, at this hour, your word is light and it is life. And, God, if there's any sick amongst us tonight, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that your word will become the doctor, your word will become medicine. Your word will heal those who are listening and need a victory, need a breakthrough, God. And even as your much servant is about, God, to oh dispense God. your word to us. Father, we just want to vast in your blessing of eating from your table. God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, I pray that you will radiate him, you will take him out of self, and you, God, will speak through him. God, we pray for the warring world. We pray for leaders. We pray for Oh God, our essential workers, we pray God that everything that is done and said tonight will be all to the glory and honor of your holy name. So just have your own way, God, as we wait on you and we claim a blessing tonight. Let this Bible study be so special that God, it radiate and somebody will say, to it I'm healed. Whatever sickness, God, whether mind, soul, or body, somebody will say, I'm healed. Thank God for your word tonight. Have your own way as we wait on you and claim your blessing and say thanks mm -hmm. in Jesus name amen amen praise thank the Lord. Lord praise thank the you, Lord let's get to the book of Genesis chapter 13 Genesis chapter 13 we want to find tune on the subject the dishonorable father dishonorable and so we want to read from Genesis chapter 13, and we look from verse 5. Very critical point of view as we dig up from verse 5. Let's look in the King James Version. And the Bible says, And Lot also which went with Abram had flocks and herds and tents. I want you to analyze that one verse for one moment. Lot has 
tent, he has flax, and he had herd. It means that Lot was rich because of Abram, the righteous father, the honorable father, Abram. Because that connected to Abram, and I wanted to get that very quick connected to Abram, but watch what's going to happen soon and very soon. Verse 6 says, And the land was not able to bear them. In other words, the land could not share any longer because of the increase of the blessing that God, the Almighty Father, lavishes up on Abram. Note, on Abram. The scriptures clear ah, that they might dwell together. Watch that now. Dwell together. For their substance, the Bible said, was great. So that they could not dwell together any longer. Because of the blessing. When God blessed Abraham, it's overflow, it's overrun, it's overreach, and it's overtake. Amen. And watch what happened now in verse 7. And there was a strife. See the demon rise up now. There's a strife. There's a fuss. There's a quarrel. There's bitterness now. There's anger. There's malice. There's greed. And all different formality when you see the word strive, it tell me that something is wrong now because... A, 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 a mixture begin to crop in. The, 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 the herdsmen and the and, uh, lots and the herdsmen of Abraham now begin to feud. And so, and there was strife between the herdmen of Abraham, one, cattle, and the herdmen of Lot, cattle, and <clears throat> The Canaanites and the Persites dwell then in the land. There's so much there to deal with. But yet, verse 8 says, And Abraham now says unto Lot, The dishonorable father, soon we'll prove it. Let there be no quarrel. Let there be no fight. Let there be no fuss. There be no greed. Let there be no malice. Let there be no bitterness, anger, and all the package that come with strife. Let there be none. Because Abraham is a righteous father. And he don't want to get into no problem or quarrel with nobody. It would be a shame and a remiss of Abraham to hear a call servant of the Most High God, the Heavenly Father, quarreling about land, cattle, about herds, about things of the earth. No, Abraham does not possess that character, conduct, nor deportment. Abraham. But we notice as Abraham says unto Lot, there be no strife. I pray. Thee, between me and thee, and between my herdsmen and thy herdmen, for we are bridging clear as crystal. Abraham lay out the fundamental facts and said, Let there be no quarrel, let there be no strife between me and you, between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, between nothing, let there be no strife. Let there be no anger. Let there be no bitterness. Because what's going to happen is going to rage until we begin to lose our mind. And something drastically would happen. But that did not shift that one minute. He says, Abraham says now, For we are brethren. Is not the old land. The earth is before you, Lot. Make a decision. Make that choice and take what you want. I will not engage in you in strife. I will not engage you in fuss. I will not engage you in quarrel. I pray thee, my brother, pray that will not quarrel about things of the earth. And he says here, Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself. Go. Disconnect from me. Ah, I will disconnect from you. Hallelujah. Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left, 
and and then I will go to the right. Or if I will depart to the right, uh -huh, then I will go to the left. It means that any side you take, any way you go, I don't want the quarrel. So I rather to be at peace more than war. I rather to have joy more than bitterness. I rather to have love more than hate. I rather to say prayer more than don't say no prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to be in peace. And the Bible says, we notice something in verse 10 that is very critical. He lift up. And the Bible says, verse 10, and Lot, notice what happened. And Lot lift up his eyes. Lot lift up his eyes. Be he careful when certain people lift up their eyes. I believe sometimes our eyes fool us. Our eyes show you the glamorous but did not show you how dangerous it is. Oh yes, yes, yes. Our eyes will show you the prettiness but we don't know what is underneath the prettiness or over the other side of the pretty glamorous flushy looking garden. You don't know if scorpion in it. You don't know if snake in it because you don't you only see but you don't know what is in it. The Bible says, the Bible says right here, and Lot lift up his eyes and beheld all the plain. Did you see that word they all? Oh yes, because I I I I kinda get lost when he him said, I see all of Jordan. Oh yes, him just see Jordan and his eyes begin to give him the whole purpose and plan of Jordan. No, 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 no. Him just glimpse apart because I don't understand how him see all of Jordan. And the Bible says the plain of Jordan that it was well, well, well watered. Oh yes, because you see now that the spirit of this connection is working in him to depart from Abraham. And the Bible says water everywhere before the Lord destroy uh -huh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Yes, yes, that did not know what was awaiting uh, when he departed from uh -huh, Abraham. And therefore, now we see that this dishonorable father, as we're going slowly down there, notice here, my friend and my brother, verse 11 says, Then Lot choose. Lot make a decision. Lot make a disconnection. Oh yes. Lot now plugged out from Abraham. In other words, he was plugged in to Abraham when God called Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12. The Bible says, and Lot went with Abraham. Lot did not sent by God. So therefore, wherever Lot received a coming from oh, the blessing of Abraham. And look good as we choose. Then let choose in all the plain of Jordan. <laughs> and let journey his. And they separated themselves. The one from another. I want you to look when a person separate. It means that you get disconnected. It means that you began far apart because he gone east, but Abraham remained in the south. Uh, is it true? Let's reverse a little bit and look same place in the book of Genesis chapter uh, uh, 13. And we see what the Bible says. And Abraham went up out of Egypt. Verse Chapter 13 of Genesis. And Abraham went up out of Egypt, and his wife, and all that he had, and lot with him. Again, lot with him. Look good. In the south. In the south. Can I give you a pop up? Verse 2 says, And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south even to Bethel and to the place where his tent had been 
and he begin between Bethel and Haram. And we find now Lot still went with him. But as riches increase, there goes problem with a lot of us. Riches increase, cause some people perplexity, cause some people stress, heartaches and broken pieces. As riches increase, people change. Because now they get connected to the riches. They get connected to the vineyard, to the kettles, to the camel, to the money. And you call all the name that riches bring forth. Oh yes, and Lot now separate himself according to verse 12. As we go now down in verse 13 note what happened trouble is brewing death is knocking perplexity crying mourning grief hallelujah is just waiting for the moments to arrive look good in verse 13 the bible says the bible says but the men of Sodom were wicked. Did you see that? When Lot lift up his eyes, don't ask me. I believe he did not see the wicked, adulterous, murderous, iniquity, and different formality of Sodom look good in the bible but the men of sodom were wicked and sinners before the lord i want you to look on the word exceedingly it's beyond human comprehension they were doing whatever they think is right in their sight whether it's dark blue pink whatever way shape fashion it's that's the avenue lot end up in. The dishonorable father. The name is Lot. Number one. Number one. When we look on the word dishonorable. Lot bring shame. One. Lot bring disgrace. Disrespect. Disregard. To the lineage of Abraham. How oh, you get that pastor? Well, let go. But the men, according to verse 12, listen. Abraham dwell in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwell in the city of the plain, and pitch his tent toward Sodom. Did you see that? Abraham did not follow Lot. Lot follow Abraham. So when Lot get disconnected from Abraham, he blundered in his decision and caused himself now to reach the level as a dishonorable father. A disgraceful father in chapter 19 of Genesis 37 to 38. A disgraceful father. We're going there. Lot was a problem in reference to Abraham's life. Look, scripture is right there. And the Lord now said unto Abraham, listen carefully, after, after what? That lot was separated from him. Lift up now, Abraham, your eyes. Because some people is just a period of time that be connected to you. Some people is just a month or two or three, whatever form you want to place it in. Because some people got to go out of your life for you and the Almighty Father to be in one mission, one aim, and one expectation. 
The Bible says, and the Lord said unto Abraham, now the heavenly father begin to speak to Abraham. After Lot was separated, disconnected from him, he said, lift up now thine eyes and look the place where you, yes, where thou art northward and southward and eastward, westward, for all the land which thou seest of thee, will I give it uh -huh, unto thy seed for the eon. God, in other words, reaffirmed the covenant agreement <laughs> with Abraham says, look, all from the east, west, north, and south. It's all yours. Can you think of what Abraham is thinking now? Even where Lot took off to belongs to Abraham. Lot separated himself from Abraham, that God now called Abraham and speak to Abraham. He then received uh -huh, the reaffirmation. Ah, reaffirmation of God's promise to give the land of Canaan to him and his seed for the eon. Yes, yes. Then Abraham dwelt in the plain, yes, which is in Hebron. But where is Lot? Where is Lot? <laughs> Lot now is in the sin city. <laughs> Lot now is in an adulterous city. Lot now connected to the sinners that exceedingly uh -huh, doing everything that you can think of. The wrong road, the wrong way, the wrong street. Everything that you can think of. That's where Lot connected to now. When you're separated from Abraham, you are in a dangerous road, my friend. Let's look. Dishonorable. We find that Lot brings shame and disgrace. We notice in Genesis chapter 19. Can we go there? Can we go there and spend a little time in Genesis chapter 19? And we want to just run a little bit. Note something in Genesis chapter 19. And there came... And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. I don't see nowhere when he went to Egypt or when he came from Egypt, Lot was sitting at the gate. At the gate. In other words, it seems to me like Lot now become a high glorious. Lot is not busybody doing what he used to do. Just my theory. We see he was sitting in the gate of Sodom. And Lot seen them rose up to meet him. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot seen huh, the two angels. Bow down himself before toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray thee. Starry all night, wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go on your way. And they said, Here goes trouble, here goes trouble, here goes trouble. And they said, Nay, no, sir. No, sir, no, sir. Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Special assignment from heaven come to survey the whole entire street. Here goes the scripture. Here goes the scripture. We will abide in the street all night and he pressed upon them greatly and they turned in unto him and entered into his house hallelujah 
and he made them a feast and did bake and leaven bread and they did he it is very much concern here that lads still have what you call a portion of what Abraham would do it is a sad effect now after Lot hear the news hear what the scripture said but before they lay down the men of the city even the men of Sodom compass the house round both old and young all the people from every quarter and they call unto Lot and said unto him where are the men which came into thee this night bring them out <laughs> unto us that we may know them and Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him in other words Lot go outside go deal with them talk to them whatever talk he talk and said I pray you brethren do not do wickedly do not so wickedly in other words Lot begin to propagate uh, news to them said don't do no wickedness that did not hinder them because you see where you lie is a problem where you connect is a problem is a problem right here look behold now i have two daughters which uh-huh which 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 have not known man let me i pray you bring them out unto you uh-huh and do ye them as good in your eyesight oops oops only unto these men do nothing for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. In other words, they are my visitors. But you can have my two daughters. This honorable father can't even make a good decision of him own. Because where you go hang out, where you go connect, now you are in trouble. And the trouble is just awaiting to brew and bring forth death and destruction. Lot could not even make a good decision and say, hello, leave from here. Mm -mm -mm. His life now is in threat. His life is at stake. Be careful where you get disconnected where you pitch your tent. Be careful when you get disconnected where you go land. Be careful when you get disconnected who you go connected with now. Because I want to reaffirm what the scripture says. The scripture says, the people of Sodom was exceedingly wicked. My question, when that arrived, like example, for the first week, for the first month, he must have seen the wickedness and the outrageous act. But he's still connected inside a Sodom. Hear what the Bible says. Behold, now I have two daughters. Look, take my two daughters. But don't you trouble these men. They are our visitors. Little did Lot know that these men are harm and dangerous. They are angels. Lot not even did know that they were angels. <laughs> because Lot is not the spiritual one could discern that. Hear what the word of God says. Hallelujah. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Lot is defending his guests. That's good. But could not defend his two daughter. And they said, Stand back. Step back, Lot. And they said again, This fellow came in to sojourn, and he will need to be a judge now will we deal worse with thee than with them did you hear the threat did you hear what going to happen to lot let me rewind this one fellow came into sojourn uh-huh in other words uh, uh, this, can i use a jamaican language this boy coming at the tariff and come and tell we what to be done we're going to fix him up. 
We're going to take care of him. We're going to beat his marrow out of his head. We're going to beat his brain down, flat him out. I'm just using hypothetical terms. We understand the language. Yes, I understand. They said it here. And they said, stand back. Step back, lad. They said, this one fellow came into sojourn and he will need to be judged. He need to be get a sentence. You see it. Verse 9 is telling you exactly what the mind is. Tell you how corrupt they is. Tell you how ungodly they is. Because the Bible already said they exceedingly are wicked sinners. There's nothing you can do when a man is desperately wicked in his heart and his mind. Here goes the word of God in chapter 9, uh, verse 9 of uh, Genesis 19. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door down. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They were coming, they're pushing now, they come in, what you call force enter into my house are breaking into my house so i believe lot was trying to close the door from a, a, a humanistic thinking and hear this word of god but the men put forth their hand and pull lot into the house the, the man the angel pull lot in hallelujah the angel have to defend lot protect lot from the unslaughter of the unrighteous, outrageous, despicable behavior of these wicked men of the city. Lot, when you went there, you did not know that they were dangerous and wicked. Oh, yes. Did this honorable father want to give over his two daughters to the brutal outrageous notorious wantonness wicked city guys them are whatever form shape they were here goes the word but the men put forth their hand and put that in hallelujah into the house to them and shut the door did you see that that little small power could not angle these outrageous guys but the angel of the step you know put that into the house and shut the door and when the angel shut the door lot could nobody could not do that nothing because the presence of the angel were there did you see that and the angel commanded the assignment from heaven and, and not because of lot only but it's because of abraham This is a gem for go heat and drink. Yes, 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 yes. And they soothe the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they weird themselves to find the door. The angel have to hack, oh God, to rescue Lot. Uh, not the angel. <clears throat> they rescued Lot because he was in serious trouble now. The word of God says here, the men, the men, and the men said unto Lot, as thou hear any beside my son-in-law. And the men said unto Lot, as thou hear any beside in other words who are you is here all of your family listen the bible said it all of your family mm -hmm. son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou as in the city bring them out of this place did you hear that the mission of rescue Basha has to come for lot when you make the wrong move, the wrong can disconnection, and go connect to the wrong source. You are in trouble. The Bible says, Get them ready that I can bring you out of this place. For we, did you see that, will destroy this place. Because the cry of them is waxed and great before 
the face of the Lord. Hallelujah. They cry, they cry as rich to the heights. And the Lord had sent us to destroy it. Poor Lot did not know that they were the destroyer. <laughs> and the deliverer. Before the destroyer uh, will take place, I wait us to deliver you before we destroy the city. Here goes the word, God. The dishonorable father. That's to get saved. Hear me, for we will destroy this place. We will destroy this place. Why you can destroy this place? Because the action of these people is pollution is so high. Amen. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons in law, which married his daughters, and said, Oh, Get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his son-in-law. Did you see that? We're going to spend some time on this, but we have to go uh, and make a, a, a adjustment example because this has been too much gem. Did you know that lot did lie? This, this honorable father did lie? to his crown is them when he says that his daughter know no man uh, we're gonna learn and take it off more from here because did this honorable father do this some despicable thing some wicked thing so it's just listen sit here sit here sit here it, it's not me said it and Lot went out and spake, verse 14 of Genesis 19, and spake unto his sons in law. That means both of them did have. Mm -hmm. Which married his daughters and said, Ah, up, get up, get out this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seems as one that mocked. And to his son in law. Let land this and we pick it up at a next time. When we look at a dishonorable father, he brings shame. When we look at a dishonorable father, he brings disgrace. When we look at a dishonorable father, he brings disrespect. Oh, yes, that's why his descendant is a danger up until today up until this moment that descended in an immorality state be careful when you get disconnected who are you going to connect it to when he disconnected from Abraham he got connected in a sin city full of pollution God bless you this night. God keep you. And the peace of God be with you. And the love of God be overshadow you. Be careful of who you're connected with. Dishonorable or honorable. Dishonorable or honorable. We know for sure from the bibliology, Abraham was an honorable father. We're going to, I'll take up some more. Because even when his son Isaac should be getting married, he sent his servant, go search out for my genealogy. Lot mm. mm. end up in Sin City. He go connect his two data. Amen. Shall we just bow our heads and look to the Lord in prayer? Father, we thank you for this blessed night. We thank you for your blessing that you poured out on us. We thank you for the word of inspiration and revelation and motivation and interpretation. Lord, we adore you. We shabak you. We told our praise you for your great kindness towards us. Lord, we cannot direct our pathway, but we pray that you would direct our walkway and our talk, our meaning. Lord, we look to you even this night. We are glorifying you because of your word that you revealed to us. Hear us this night, Lord. Rescue somebody 
out of sin city, out of the jurisdiction of the power of darkness. Translate somebody this night, Lord. We beseech you according to your will, according to your purpose, according to your plan. In the exalted name, Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. And the grace of God be with you. The peace of God be with you. Amen and amen.